He just needs yeah. a confidence boost or something. That's that's right. I agree. Like if it, if it was someone like me, I probably would have let one. Just for the confidence <laughs> boost or something. Okay, so next time I play you, I should be like really down and be like, "Oh, you're gonna beat me." Let's see now. I know you're faking. Ah, uh, Jesus. All right. So how this works? I share screen to you so that we're looking at the same thing. Then I stream it to the yeah. uh, to the people, and you know. And now I gotta ping everybody that this is happening. And the stinky's gonna do it. We're gonna have Ducky join us. I think three is better. So, sometimes there's like eight people in here, and I say bruh. Because you can't. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> I'd say it's I've been watching it sometimes. I'd be like, oh my god. There's too many people, and I'm trying to like get everybody to say something. Yeah. Yeah, some people, I don't know. know. Do they just sit there to listen? I don't care if people would do that, but like, you know. Are they just be randomly uh, chiming in? I mean, Bro needs to hurry up. <laughs> okay, well, they're kicking off. I still gotta drag Ducky into this VC. So, okay, here we go. Ducky, great for you to join us. Um, we're here Welcome. with a highly anticipated matchup. Where do you guys think this one's gonna go? Um. Oh, so I need to check. I out. think I think Stinky's definitely the favorite here, but you never know. Maybe D'Angelo's got something up his sleeve for him. I would agree, and we're gonna start the game off with a read option where Lamar Jackson's just gonna get absolutely blasted all over his face. I mean, just that that big girthy huge dude just barreling down on. Lamar Jackson right there. Probably lucky to not cough up the ball. I'm a, I'm yeah, I mean, I'm... Oh, I'm gonna need a no diddy after that one. But to answer your question, <laughs> I feel like this might be a blowout because he... D'Angelo, all throughout the chat, throughout the whole playoffs, he hasn't shown any confidence. And that'll work mm -hmm. for some people in here. But for some people, nah. They'll know. It's certainly a yeah, I think... uphill battle, I think. Going up against a guy like Stinky, you gotta come in confident, and if you go in expecting to lose, you probably are gonna lose. I mean, that's anything you do, though. Not even just for some. You gotta be confident. If you think. You, you, got, you really gotta be delusional. That's really what Yeah, you do. That is definitely the strategy. Just, like, gas yourself up like an unrealistic extent, and you're bound to, you're bound to do something, you know? Like... Yeah, Maybe what did Doc say the other day? I don't even remember. He's to gas himself up that he can convert this third down and nine back to throw. Lamar Jackson going over the middle, and it's going to oh, get broken catch? up. Oh, no, no catch. Uh, I believe that's Mark Probably Andrews unable to come down with it. Um, and that's going to bring up fourth down. And just like that, guys, the game's over. The Chiefs take possession of the football <laughs> after kicking off. And there's really uh, hope is dwindling right now. Is it on? Uh, it is. Oh, you can go. Uh, I was going to say it is. Uh, D'Angelo is going to try have to try to get a turnover here if he wants to stay in this one. And it's not like he got to a good start after Stinky gets a good punt return right there. But isn't D'Angelo more of a defensive player? I feel like from watching his few games, I don't think he's the um, um, offensive strategist like some of the other people in here. I feel like he, he, he had a chance to get a stop. Stinky's known for him. Couple well, Stevies a game. What's just interesting catch. is that he's the kind of guy who will go down seven and he's like, All right, two o'clock, man. Start two o'clock. Get me out of here, man. <laughs> so if he's really a defensive strategist, then that probably, you know, isn't the best mindset to have. Um, but we'll see what he can do. He's had he's had a solid defense in the playoffs so far. We'll see what he can uh, pull out here. Uh, sure, I say, yeah, you might have a good point. If he goes down, it's probably over. Like, 14, I think it's already over. So, we'll see if he can at least answer, because I'm sure Sneaky's going to score seven here. Well, it looks like you know, 
getting the ball at half, already up seven. I mean, that's basically 14, bro. Uh, first down, we saw a run up the middle for big game uh, in a first down. We're going to see a run here on second down again, outside run. Murray with nowhere to go, only going to gain about two. I'm definitely surprised to see Stinky start out with the run here. Uh, all season, he's been passing the ball. I mean, all his Madden career, he's been passing the ball. So him coming out early, leaning on the outside run game, that's definitely a surprise to see. Uh, maybe he's a little bit scared of D'Angelo's defense right now, but I mean, uh, here no, he's coming out an empty, so. I think that's one thing about him that I've noticed. Past, like, couple seasons in the playoffs, oh, he no. starts running the ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> a bit of a tight pass there, but he's able to find Jalen Hyatt. And one thing I'm looking at in their game time channel, Stinky Ping D'Angelo and said you're not allowed to motion snap. I must have missed it. I mean, obviously, H. Coke is, is driving, and, you know, Ducky just got here, like, three seconds ago. But, I mean, maybe we missed something there. Back to throw out of the five wide. Throws it away. Yeah, we we must have missed that because I didn't see anything I, like that. I, I didn't. I didn't see it either. I did not see that. I'm either. sure I could have missed it because I'm not. You know, uh, I'm not the best I'm at sure seeing was, the motion. I'm sure it was a happy accident if it did happen. Oh yeah, I mean, surely he, nobody. He, he went three and out, right? He did. He got three and out. Back to throw. I feel like I've seen all three plays. The five I, wide. I, I, throws it away. And what's interesting is Sins in the Gen Chat was calling Stinky a five wide merchant. Um, what are your thoughts on him running a lot of five wide when he's been passing here on this drive? I don't know him to be a sorry, I don't know him to be a five wide merchant, but I do know him to be a petty type. So I bet he's running a bunch of five wide just because he said that. I see. Yeah, I'm definitely not surprised to see him in the five wide here. Um, hasn't worked so far, but I'm sure he'll find something later in the game. Going to the quarter route, he's got it. That was uh. Tight offset, tight end, found his guy. Going to be in the hurry up now. Uh, kind of knocking on the door, so to speak. <clears throat> He's probably looking at this corner. I don't think he should throw that. I don't think, okay. A little scary. Um, rolling out to his right. Um, it looks like he had guys, but you never know where that football is going to go. You know, when you when you let that thing fly when you're on the run. Um, probably the wisest yeah, that would been a, to toss it away. That would have been a scary throw right there. I probably wouldn't have made it. I'm definitely surprised to see Stinky scrambling so much here. Um, I'm not used to that. He's usually more of a pocket guy, but it's interesting to see him rolling out more than usual. Shout out to Rage in the chat. He's excited to see a H. Coke steady ducky cast. I'm sure many are. Uh, bunch to the right, back to throw. Going underneath to the drag, that's Sam Laporta, the former Lion. And Sam Laporta has been one of the better players for Stinky this season. Um... I'm honestly surprised that he's that good. What are your thoughts on Sam Laporta, H. Coke? Um, he's great. He would still be in my because I traded him to him this offseason mm -hmm. because of, uh, I don't know what did I auto. I might have auto drafted a uh, X Factor tight end, so I was like, hey, might as well trade Laporta. Nobody wanted him. Well, one, man, him one man's trash, another man's treasure. You know, back to throw yeah. here. It's third down. He's going over the middle. Gonna throw it right at Jesse That's Bates. Heavy. And he's going to go down at the wide. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah. maybe Jesse Bates, you know, betting the over on passing yards for Lamar Jackson in this game um, to, to consciously make the effort to go down at the at your own one-yard line instead of staying in the end zone, um, probably not the best. So Yeah, those, yeah. those routes that stop at the back of the end zone, I feel like they're not the best this year. Back to throw, going to a so. drag route. That's Drake London, and he's got it. Going to be completed for four it is yards. Drake London there. Um, I'm getting word from the sideline here. We're seeing this game get a little chippy already. I'm hearing the head coaches are going at it in their gen chat and team channel right now. So oh, that's really? definitely something I to can, watch I, as we go I, forward. I can see that. He said, so maybe there was a motion <laughs> snap. He didn't deny it. Wow, I can't believe he caught that. Through contact with just three dudes all around him, all taking shots at the guy. And he's just, he takes on three dudes and he says, I'm not afraid of no... A no challenge, you know. Uh, able to come down with the ball. Third down and short. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still waiting for the first no D. That's, that's the second one. Back to throw. Going underneath. That's In oh, that's not Ingram. I'm an idiot. That's Lehman. That is the rookie running back who's been super amazing this year. This is a player that the head coach did not want to draft, but the GM went ahead and say, we're going to draft this guy because the head coach isn't here. He's busy jelking and gooning. So... 
Um, they really did their thing. The GM made a great decision, and he's been a key player in this playoff run so far. He really has. I was surprised to see him trade Keith Mitchell away this offseason, but it appears Laban has just stepped in and filled that role uh, pretty well so far. Mm -hmm. And he came in at like an 85 overall or something ridiculous. I mean, this kid is is talented. Blue chip, you know, the whole shebang. Like, he is amazing. He is him, as the youngins might say, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Second down and five here. We got an okay drive going. Going deep to the sideline. Drake London oh. is just going to drop the ball. Wow, I mean, that isn't the best. Um, no, it is not. That's that's why, to this day, we're just waiting for gift wrapping. That's what I'm saying. That's what I wanted to say. You know me so well. Um, the day that gift wrap comes to this game, um, this game will probably improve significantly. And that um, that is going to be an A tier ability. Y'all are not getting pretty, that for cheap. It's pretty crazy. I mean, you know. I mean, you know. Um, I mean, you know. As someone, as someone not too familiar with gift wrap, what exactly does that ability do for uh, your players? Uh, catch balls if they're open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. they, they catch yeah. passes if they're covered too. <clears throat> yeah, but like okay. you basically them, drop everything. Points? Yeah. You, oh my god, <laughs> the tight end just booty butt naked. He opts to go underneath um, to the out route. I think that a man coverage on the tight end was literally just nowhere to be seen. Um, a blown assignment there, but it's not going to result in a free touchdown for the Ravens. And I feel like they're going to need to take those points when they get them if they're going to win this game. Back to throw. Going underneath. Quay Walker is there. Going to knock it out. About 30 Chiefs all getting their, their mitts on that football. You know, but nobody's going to play with it. I feel like he had a touchdown on that last play. I don't know if you guys seen the left receiver. Had like a step or two in the corner. But I think he's playing nervous. So when people start playing nervous, I think that's when the game's over. Because he's taking well what? Has he done anything but throw a check down this game? No, um, it's just been check down yeah, central it's here. It's been short, you know, trying to build confidence. Uh, like you were talking about earlier. Going underneath, he's got a wheel, and he's just going to drop the ball. That's Mark Another Andrews. Another drop. Yeah, man. Uh, that's the life. That is the struggle, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and that's going to bring up a third down and ten. So... Mm -hmm. Um, very funny. I know there was a, a a patch recently, like right before the playoffs. Um, I didn't see any patch notes. I don't know if there's even any. I haven't looked for them. But uh, I looked for them. The Drake Flood is not going to drop yeah, this wow. one. He's going to catch that ball, keep the <clears throat> chains moving. At the end of the first, a scoreless game. Probably something that not many of us foresaw. Um, unless you're age coke, because this Ravens guy is a defensive coach. <laughs> Apparently, but he has no confidence yeah. if he goes down any points. That's crazy. That's just a crazy combo. That's a crazy build. <laughs> I don't so, know. Are, uh, you, are you surprised? Are you surprised that we haven't seen? Are you surprised that we haven't seen any points so far at this game? I mean, I feel like we certainly should have, uh, but no, we haven't. And I mean, D'Angelo, if he's just gonna, you know, look off a, a free touchdown to the tight end up the middle of the field, then points might be hard to come by. We'll see what they can do. A run inside here. It's Layman, and he's going to fight forward for about three. Well, since we're getting decently into this game, say you say these next two plays, you get stops, and it's like fourth and three. Do you take three since it's such a low-scoring game, or do you think since you know your fourth opponent? Fourth and three? Um, yeah. I mean, with how it's been, you got to stop. Maybe you can take three, but I certainly wouldn't fault them for going for it. Lamar Jackson scrambling to his left, going to get the edge, is going to fumble, but he is going out of bounds. So wise to tiptoe on the sideline there. That's going to make it fourth down and very short. That look like OG escape artists. I have, see, I haven't played the Ravens. I mean, he's so fast I, as I, hell. I don't know nothing about <laughs> Yeah, I haven't played. I haven't played Lamar. See if I'm So he tries to go to the inside run RPO action, unable to get it. And now we're looking at the situation that you were just talking about. Um, fourth down and short. Do we take three here? I wonder. I, I feel think like I'd like I to see the answer. Just take a three here. Uh, you get ball I half. Would too. Especially yeah. otherwise, this guy may be building some of that confidence you were talking about. If you were at, like, the 20-yard line, I think. Oh, Jesus. Stop. These are one of those decisions. I can lose you the game right here. In motion is Drake London. To the right, across the, uh, across the trips. 
Snaps it with one second left. Back to throw. He's got the he wheel. wheel out. Oh, the KO oh, is going to get there. Man. And that is going to be a stop for the Kansas City Chiefs. Unfortunate. Um, but his player was in a position and he was able to succeed. And now uh, Stinky's going to have the opportunity to score and get the ball at half. So we'll see what he can do. Outside run here. Going to get blown up. Stinky kind of... Uh, I've seen him go to the ground a lot tonight. I wonder if he's feeling a little bit of nerves here. I think he might. That's what I'm saying. I feel like whenever he gets into these pressure situations, that's when the runs come out. Ragin also a believer that the, the Ravens should have taken three. Wow, this is going to be a free play. Going to the tight end, that's Sam Laporta. Um, a big chunk. They're not even, yeah, they don't need to accept that. They got their shot, and uh, you get a big chunk of yards. And I think they yeah, need I to think keep their play. Might, so, um, hell yeah, man. Let's go. Uh, I think he's going <clears> to. <throat> in these strong well, close here. I think he's coming out in here. Calling out audibles at the line. Some hot route action. What the hell? It's a reverse. And Stinky's well, just going to get blown up for seven out. yards. I don't know why he's been doing that. Like, like we were talking about like how blessed does that. And he's like, oh, I'm going to do that. And now he just does it and gets nae on. I think so. that play only works out of single back bunch. I don't know about... I yeah. thought it, I thought it worked out of a strong close. I don't think I don't think it works well in strong close. So maybe that's I mean, something. It would take good. a very a very specific defense for me to want to do that, and uh, I'm not true. really a fan. Wow, he's throwing out a hard Woo! fight here, um, able to fit it in there, but probably not the wisest decision. I can't wait till like zones can like play a little better and actually like jump stuff. That'll be pretty sweet. That would be, Gonna be that third would be down and fourteen. Way. He's probably about. Um, five to eight yards away from field goal range, I'd say. So, going to go over the middle. What is he going to do? Wow. interception. Not wise. And we've seen this team be very sloppy. Can he kick this? I have no clue. They're telling him to punt, so I figure he can't. Can, what is that? 65 is that yards. 65? <clears throat> 65 I think yards. You can make that with 99 kick power. I'm pretty but, sure. I don't so, know what the I wind's think, looking I'm like. Not sure, I'm not sure... Uh, he he does have, the yeah, he side. has the win, but he is going to punt it. Um, well, if, if they don't tell here. me, if they don't tell me that I can make it, then I'm pretty hesitant to um, to make that decision. Um, so I don't fault him for punting. But maybe it would have been worth, you know, you have your three timeouts. It would have been worth going out there, your kicker getting a feel for the situation and seeing if it's possible, if it's a thing he can make, and they don't get that opportunity. Yeah. So the Ravens now have a chance to be in prime time position. I'm about as good as you can ask. Yeah, they get the, the, the ball at half, too. I think this is a huge spot for D'Angelo to be in right now. Uh, you get the ball. You get the lead here. Get the ball at half. Throw. You could, he doesn't really have anything. To... Going to be an intentional oh, no. grounding. I mean, I feel like the receiver is over there. But like, you know, whatever. Whatever, man. You know, I'm not the referee. You know, <laughs> um, it's not an NFL playoffs without a few controversial calls out there. Um, but the decision is um, that that was cheating. So he's going to be penalized um, at the spot of the throw. Going underneath, he's got Mark Andrews. Going to spin move inside. Interesting move. Fights forward. Makes it a third and a lot more manageable, though still pretty damn long. I didn't know. Does Mark Andrews have spin cycle? <sighs> I've been seeing him spin. I figure he has to if he's <laughs> going to spin all the time. If he doesn't, I would honestly be shocked. Yeah, that's now hilarious. at the two-minute um, warning, and I, neither team has any points on the board. Um, probably not what they had in mind. I know Stinky is certainly more of an offensive, uh, got a more of an offensive mind, and you know maybe this is the matchup of. I think the Niners are trying to defense, set in you know. for him here. <clears throat> He's not doing Push the stuff out to the left. That's Layman. Layman's definitely gonna be on a zig. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Layman on the zig. He's got Andrews over the middle. Yes. Beats his man, and that is a catch and a big chunk play. Going to put them knocking on the door. And, you know, Justin Tucker, um, 38 years old at this point, but still a very good kicker, one of the greatest kickers of all time. Uh, missed a field goal from around this range earlier in the playoffs, so I was joking that he should hang him up. A little drag route uh, to Molds. I think his name's Eric Molds, if I'm correct. No clue, are not going to show his name on the ticker. We're here again. 
do you do you try to push it for a TD or do you just run out the clock since you're getting ball at half? Um, I think I you go touchdown. Run out the clock. You go touchdown, but you take your three if it's there. If he took his three earlier, then th this could be a two possession lead, which is exactly what you need when you're playing um, from behind from the get go by receiving the ball. Mm -hmm. But he does get ball at I, half, so I feel like three is. I thought the Chiefs did. <clears throat> Over the middle, that's Flowers. Zay Flowers, I believe. Down to the 10. Going to be a timeout. <laughs> Not surprised to see Stinky call a timeout there. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he'd like to have the opportunity to put points on the board. And if he can, if he can see the end zone on this play, then he will have a shot to he'll probably have enough time and timeouts to try and get down the field. <clears throat> Trips to the left. Mark Gange on the right, Lehman in the backfield with Lamar Jackson. Look at him, man, back to throw. Wow, Mark Andrews is bagged. I don't know if he's red zone threat. Tries to chuck it. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, brother. <clears throat> <laughs> not like that. Yes. I not like that That's at all. Experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe those nerves, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Not ideal, but he is going to get away with one. Stinky probably not very happy about that, but it is what it is, as they say. So, taking a long time to choose a play, the coach must be drawing up an absolute laser um, for this situation here. We got the trips to the left. A, I think it's a he's not confident in what he's calling situation. That's what I think it is. Got some double team action on this receiver. It's very interesting. <laughs> that is Back one thing. Throw. I hate running... Well, wow, he, he cooked him anyway. Lamar Jackson running around. He's going to have an opportunity to scramble. He's got one man to make miss. Going to gain about a yard. Uh, Going to bring up third down and goal. He had a slant open for him. He did have a slant open. Um, regardless of the... I don't know why Stinky manned up two people on that guy. Um, Really, I don't like to man up two people to the same dude really ever unless they're like on opposite Mostly. sides of the field. We'll see what he can do here. Goes underneath. That's Mark Andrews. Is going to catch it, but it's only going to be two yards, and that is going to be a timeout, Kansas City. Justin Tucker will come out onto the field to give his team the first points of this game. Kick is up. Kick is good right down the middle, just automatic. And the Ravens looking like they may hold the lead at the half, but we've seen crazy scores before the half before, huh? We'll see yes, what, we uh, what Stinky can do. But to to go back to your point about that double man up, I feel like versus someone, because we we all can agree, Stinky's probably the better matter player. But versus people you're better than, I don't like running those crazy interesting defenses because uh -huh. what they do, it's not really those defenses aren't built for. Right, that makes sense. So that's I would I, agree. Yeah, I don't think I think he's overdoing what he's doing, but I guess it's working because he held up to three, but. I mean, the guy that he made all those adjustments to stop still was wide open. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it didn't really. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, play action. Back to throw. Going okay, to chuck it away. So, six seconds remain on the clock. Oh, that's five. A uh, little correction there. Um, so, if he gives up a touchdown with five seconds left in the half, I mean, really points at all is, like, impossible. Like, like there is no reason... Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Touchdown, touchdown, yeah. touchdown, touchdown. I mean, what a moronic defensive goes, play call. Talk yeah, about he a goes defensive the mastermind. Chat. He goes in the chat typing LOL, but he baseline press cover three with five seconds yeah, that left. Was like, that was dumb as hell. Uh, that is not the call. I mean, you have one route. You have one route to run with, with your user, and you leave it wide open. Uh, what are we doing? That is not epic. Yeah. See the difference, that's the difference between anything but prevent right there. I mean, that's you know, it's a prevent now. prevents a little scary, but like literally, like you know, man coverage with some with some, some safety help, like something that's difficult mm -hmm. for him to to just throw over the top of. And I, I don't know, not a great call defensively, and it's a call that I think is going to lose him this football game because that was real bad. Yeah. And Chiefs do oh, get the yeah. ball in half. <laughs> That was really bad. It's just not a thing that you could afford, you know, to do. Not a mistake you could have. Um, that's not ideal. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's the, that's the difference between different players in this league. 
<laughs> I say if that was me, you in that situation, we probably would have recognized that play. A hundred percent. I mean, I mean, uh, Shingy's entire playbook is what he runs in squads, so I know every single play he calls. It's honestly hilarious. Um, out of the play action here. A lot all over to his right. I don't think he's got anything. He's going to try and chuck it regardless after dropping back 80 yards. Looks like Mahomes really wanted to throw that to the nearest Raven, but unfortunately, you know, he just couldn't get it to him. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to bring up a second down here. Still in the strong close. It's going to be a free play. Okay, Chucking it up the middle. Five. That's Tyquan Thornton. I don't know what we're doing for that to happen. I mean, sometimes it's literally just a thing that, like, there's like an animation where, like, they point. And if you snap it when they do that, sometimes you can get an off size. I don't know if they fix that, but uh, yes. not ideal. That's an interesting play call. He tried to DB blitz him, but <laughs> the DB was too excited. Yeah. Have what not ideal. Another play action underneath. This time it's Sam Laporta who's going to uh, not get stripped, which is probably pretty good if you're a, uh, a Chiefs fan. And, you know, I love talking about this. This Chiefs team, you know, they missed the playoffs last year. Now they're knocking on the door for a chance at a Super Bowl. What a storyline, huh? He, and then the coach did. He had a couple of press conferences in our in our chat mm -hmm. where he was saying he's going to he's gonna be in the Super Bowl. Well, uh, he looks he's like looking he, good now. I mean, I, I'd throw this. He's, he's, he's looking good up now. The middle, and that's a touchdown. Wow, able to fight Ooh, forward, gets in the end zone. And the Chiefs now have their two-possession lead, and D'Angelo has a ton of pressure on him, especially after that horrible brain dead, just absolutely awful mistake that and they you, have. You know what's you know what's crazy? He called the same exact play. Anybody's listening, get cover three out of here. Do not baseline press cover three. Anybody who's listening, please. That's the same reason I lost. <laughs> I think the problem there was he called the cover three that has the, the linebacker in the middle third, and obviously they tend not to be as fast as uh, as having a DB, and he kind of just got outrun there. I'm not sure he has that otherwise, but he did uh, throw a dot, got a touchdown, and uh, they're in a spot. They're in a great spot right now. So we'll see uh, yes, if the Ravens can make this uh, closer game here. Outside run to Lehman. Brought down after getting four. That's an interesting play call. I don't know if I would. I mean, maybe that's his offense, but I don't know. Um, you know, he does run a bit of a bubblegum RPO offense. I mean, a lot of the things we've seen him check it down a lot. I feel like we haven't it's seen any of that. Nothing particularly impressive. Going underneath, that's Mark Andrews, and Quay Walker is there to name nay on him and make him drop the football. Was that his first RPO of the game? That was Mesh Bot. No, I'm talking about um, the previous play. So. No, I don't think it was. But usually that's what he's doing. And we also watched him and the Titans get into a Mesh Bot matchup. Both of them calling Mesh Bot <laughs> almost every play. Honestly, really funny. And then Wally kept on running away from the wheel in man coverage, which was really stupid. So a third down and six here. Wow, Briscoe is going to get just absolutely folded on the line. Did you see that? <laughs> Ernest Briscoe <laughs> just get, got absolutely snitched and uh, just going to give up the middle of the field. That was likely his assignment. Um, not ideal if you are the Chiefs defense. Bunch to the right. Um, he's in the, uh, the Eagles. Um, bunch motioning out lame into the left. Now it's a bit of a five wide look. Uh, very compressed though. Does he have two middle thirds on the field? I didn't see his defensive adjustment. Lame and underneath is the read, and he is going to gain about seven. Um, since yeah, he's like he hurrying up, thirds. not yeah, ideal like unless you're trying to like here. bait like a cross <laughs> route. You know, RPO action is going to do a little ballerina spin, not going to go anywhere. Going to bring up third down and three. I mean, this is uh, pretty. This is edging Justin Tucker range. I mean, if you can close the gap to one possession, and you know your offense has been struggling, that's probably a chance that you take. But uh, obviously, you really want seven here, because any less yeah, than I that is he, very depressing. I think he needs seven because Stinky has found something. Little corner action. Know. Lamar can hit the throw. 
probably feeling like he should have had that one. I imagine he's going to keep his offense in the field. <clears throat> it is a bit of honestly. A I consider taking three right here. Oh, wow, the field goal unit is coming out onto the field. <laughs> We'll see yeah, if I think he's stopped. making one score game here. It's good. If he can get stopped, then he's right back the in kick it. kick is up. It's short. Justin Tucker needs to hang <laughs> him up, guys. This is the end oh of Justin gosh. Tucker. Two missed kicks in wow. the NFL playoffs, and now Stinky knocking on the door of, of essentially ending this game. Um, a huge stop is needed by this Ravens defense. This is bad. Ziggrout underneath. He's got Sam Laporta, who's going to get out of bounds, not going to take the risk of fumbling. <laughs> Wow, that is that is terrible. That is downright not good. And you know, I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even think that was a possibility. I mean, with the, the slow down meter great. and everything, I don't know what abilities he has. Maybe he doesn't have the long one, but you figure that's automatic. You know, <clears throat> uh, certainly seems like Justin Tucker has lost a step, guys. This guy needs to go. He's got to hang I'm him up. Either. That's terrible. I wonder if he has ninety nine take power. Let me let me take that out. <laughs> I mean, that is, is just, there? that is, that is so bad. That is so bad. He's down to 96 now. That's crazy. He's probably playing up. Wow, I feel like, he, I mean, I don't blame him for not, but, I mean, I like making those crazy throws. He probably doesn't have sidelines, so probably not a Mahomes ball. Um, but he is going to scramble for about three. I don't know, I feel like Mahomes should be able to make that pass. I feel like that's one of the easier on the run throws that you can make with the right handed keeper. It's, it's just scary. It's just scary, man. You never know where that thing's going. That is Bro's true. gonna toss that thing to Narnia. Back to throw. He, going he underneath. Another zig. That's Jalen Hyatt. Recent pickup from the Patriots. I'm gonna bring up yeah. a third down inches. And you can't be too worried. You can't force it here. Three is totally uh -huh. fine. Your defense is held up amazing. Be... It would be nice to see the Ravens make an adjustment and play the flats because he's given up pass after pass after pass. Hasn't made one adjustment the entire I hate, the, I hate this play. I hate when Sticky runs this. I don't like it. Okay. Well, he is gonna. it is going to work out this time, but he likes to throw those other routes, like the, the streak and stuff. Like, you're going to make me piss myself, brother. That's crazy. <laughs> Back to throw, going underneath. Here's the flat once again. Murray makes one man miss all the way down to the two, and they're going to need to hold the door if they want to have a chance, but it's hard, man. It's difficult for both sides, really. Hard spot to punch it in. We'll see uh, see what Stinky can call. RPO action, inside run, fighting forward. Can't get there. He is going to get a yard. Going to bring up third down and goal from the one-yard mark, so... Um, it's so scary. Very scary. I mean, I'm just I'm shaking my boots right now. He should wait to snap this. He shouldn't snap this. He's not going to. The end of the third has come, and the score is 14 to three Chiefs. Um, we'll be back after these messages, and we're back after these messages. I'm here with H. Coke and Ducky. Um, we got a tight one here. What do you guys think we're looking at? I don't know if this is a tight one. This is I, my think play. I showed him this play. This is literally my play. <laughs> touchdown! Yeah, touchdown! Sure touchdown! 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 <clears throat> touchdown. <clears throat> I was to say, I thought, I thought this one was going to be busted wide open. Dude, that, it took him forever. What, what is he doing? Jeez, man. So, 21-3, to 3, your score, and it's probably just about Jover, you'd think. Mm-hmm. Um, the Ravens yeah, simply... Yeah, if he's down, it's pretty rough. They can't move the ball. They've missed field goals. And that's unacceptable. That is game losing. The touchdown before half really was the backbreaker. You know, um, not ideal. Absolutely terrible. We do have some breaking news. The coach has the coach has given up in chin yet. So yeah, I, I mean, think it. I think it pretty I'm much not, is over. I'm not surprised, but you know, NFL playoffs, NFL playoffs, rather. You know, yeah, you stay out there. You see what you can do. <laughs> Onsides are amazing. Um, I will say we've seen here. crazier comebacks. We've seen Indeed. crazier comebacks. One hundred percent. So, so in the dollar now. Back to throw is Lamar Jackson. 
Going underneath, probably yeah, not the right the throw. Right yeah, I mean, if you wanted to throw a drag, I think you had one on the other side of the field that looked a lot nicer. <laughs> um, but just like the the idea of throwing a triple coverage and catching it is enlightening. I mean, he had three people wide open on the right side, and he threw at three chiefs. Well, you know, um, losing your head is uh, ultimately the cause of a lot of mistakes. I'd say in a game of football, um, and he's likely lost his head at this point. Looking for a man, isn't going to find him, going to get nailed. <laughs> that's going to bring up a third down and 10. And one of the <laughs> things that's propelled Stinky's defense, the addition of edge threat double or nothing on one of his players absolutely has, I'd say, carried the defensive effort. Oh, yeah. He's a cheese ball. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to throw. Lamar Ooh, Jackson just going to get nade oh, on it. Look at that. That's uh, James Houston just going to fly in and crap on yeah. Lamar Jackson. It would be nice. It would be nice to see him double team the defensive end. That's I think uh, I don't know I don't know if they both have it, but that was the plan. I don't know if he's done that yet. They both have really? like this yeah, this the sweet combo, so it's in the double in here. Rolling out to his right. He does have a guy. Don't take the safety. Oh, my God. He's going to fumble it. Even worse. Lamar Jackson is going to take the safety. Not giving up the touchdown. Holy frick. That is actually crazy. That is nuts. Oh, my God. Well, it's definitely uh, it's definitely over now. Um, probably not what the, the Ravens had in mind to... They've they've scored one point today. You know they've given up two on offense, um, kicked a field goal. That's a total of one point, uh, and one point probably isn't going to be enough to beat the Chiefs in any league. Um, I don't, I don't know if that uh, that'll be enough to beat Ferda. Uh, a little bubble gum RPO action. Hyatt on the outside bubble is going to gain about four. I'm trying to see if um, who has the combo. Taking a look at Uche here. Uche's got double or nothing by itself, so the other guy is the one with the combo. Um, still very good to just have one, you know, that 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 organic pressure coming in. Um, but certainly the real game record is that other guy, so I'd agree that that guy should probably be getting doubled every play. Well, that, that would be a nice adjustment, but, you know. I wonder if he even knows that that's how you stop it. Yeah, well, either that or have a, an edge protector, which isn't going to happen. Looks like Stinky's going to keep the He's offense gonna on the field. Stop here, but... I mean, three timeouts. Sure the like sides are very stinky. good. I don't like this either. I mean, his offense is suck cock, and you're giving him a short field? That's stupid. That's dumb. But, yeah, uh, you know, maybe he wants it. some XP, you know. Maybe he's after some XP here before the Super Bowl. Get that squeeze out that one last upgrade point before the big game, you know. Um, certainly, there is a world where maybe this isn't over. Going corner route, he's got him. That's Jalen Hyde. Um, and that is going to ice it. Yeah, I don't think this is a world where it's not over. That is uh, probably not what you wanted to give up. Um, no, definitely not. Big corner route. He waited the entire game to play some hard flats on the one play he didn't throw in flats. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, he's literally just standing there with uh, Winslow, um, has effectively given up, um, complaining about how much better the Chiefs are than the Ravens. Listen, you dumb bastard. Yeah. Your team is one of the best teams in the game stock. I don't understand the complaint. I, I seen that too. I feel like he might have 2090 overall. He literally probably has one of the better teams in the league. I mean, he's got a pass lead elite quarterback with a big arm and 97 speed. What do you mean? I don't understand. He's been here the he entire time. He does have eight overalls. Uh, like, I, that's just ridiculous. I don't understand. I don't understand the complaint. Wait, did you say he had 18? He had eight. Oh, I thought you said 18. I was like, oh my god. That would be funny. Uh, he's got a. He's got. A, he's got a couple more guys about like an 88 or 89 overall too. So definitely not a roster you wouldn't be happy to have, but yeah, well, you know, some people really uh <laughs> Yes, we do think you have one of the best. <laughs> He's tuning in <laughs> out the whole time. Yeah. Um I mean, yeah. Certainly better than like, the Lions. Certainly if, if better. If you were if you were here the whole time, 
Why didn't you guard the flats when I say guard flats? <laughs> no, that's what you need to be worried about. I don't know. I mean, he's the, got one of the best teams to open the league with, and it's not like he took them over mid mid season. So like, it is what it is, man. You know, it's, that's entirely on him. Um, but you know what? He's had a great season. He's come a long way. Oh, yeah, he had a great um, season. Couldn't, you just couldn't, you know, get the offense going against this uh, this nasty, stinky defense. And uh, wow, I didn't even like mean to do that. That's crazy. You see what I did? Like the nasty, stinky. You know what I'm saying? Like because his name's Stinky. <laughs> God, I'm amazing. I'm so good at That's this. Um, two minutes remain. Yes. Three timeouts. Stinky's rubbing it in a little bit in Gen Chat right now. Inside stuff. Well, since, you know, since this game is the way it's over, put. who do you got in the NFC Championship? Um, you know, I'm sorry to say, Steady, I do have Raging coming out yet again. <laughs> I think this team is just incredibly hard to overcome. It's all right, man. But you never know. I mean, you know, I, it's all right. I'm okay with having haters. You know. No, no I'll be that's rooting what, for you. I just, that's what it's all I just, about. I, yeah, I guess I can, I can appreciate that at least. I won't. Be, I won't believe it until I see it. You know, we're gonna see the end around again here. That's nasty. It's not gonna work. You're, you're the last chance to stop to stop the three P. You said my team good to start. No, no poop. <laughs> so then, what is the problem? <laughs> I mean, you 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 have a quarterback. You can focus on developing every other position. I don't know. I don't know what the quarrel is. It's, it's just kind of well, somehow I'll have 10 first round picks. Well, <sighs> haters going to hate, man. You know, um, a pleasure what this it game is. And, uh, wow, is he going to get this? That's crazy. He said he's going to run it out, but you never know. After you get the first down, you might have a little, uh, might want to score here. Seems like Stinky does. No, I think that's it. You just don't want. <laughs> D'Angelo would have mauled and, and quit the league. Um, it's been kind of a trend this playoffs. Um, if you lose, you're out, basically. <laughs> um, hopefully that's not what happens here. You know, it was a game. I was Actually, waiting to see it was, it was not the thing that happened, so. And congratulations to the Chiefs moving on to the Super yeah. Bowl, man. I mean, they go from <laughs> missing the playoffs to making the Super Bowl. Truly amazing. Really? Uh, must be a really? great feeling to be back. You know, one of the hardest roads you could take. Yep. I'm proud I of mean, Stanky for overcoming this. You, you, you take a terrible season. team like the Kansas City Chiefs and to, <laughs> and to finally build them up and be able to get to the Super Bowl. I mean, it truly I'm is amazing. Passing. Yeah. Who's a long road, but... Not many users. Who did he play in? Uh, who did he play around to? <sighs> he played Doc. No, it's a Mickey Mouse yeah, ring. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. Mickey Mouse. A little Mickey Mouse. I mean, the AFC yeah. is so garbage. Um, yeah, I yeah, think it's any, uh, crazy. any ring out the AFC might be Mickey Mouse ring. The yeah, NFC. The NFC got the three best players. <sighs> no, I'm saying the AFC is a little weak. Uh, that's actually the NFC. My bad. My yeah, it is pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, I think he was the talking about a big three the, the other day. But... all in the best, you know, they're all in the same conference. And in real life, you know, in real life, the AFC, many consider that to be the stronger conference. Um, but in, in, in the MKL universe, the NFC is where it's at, guys. The three best head coaches in football. You know. A lot of time. Ooh, who joined? It's stinky. Their it's stinky. Their How are you feeling up. after the win? Uh, we feel, you know, we should have played better in the first half, you know. It's, that's inexcusable how the offense played. But, you know, it's just a little bit of rust. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. well, we're proud how do you feel about allegations that your ring is Mickey Mouse? What'd you, what, what'd you say, H. Cook? I said, how do you feel about the allegations that your ring is Mickey Mouse? I mean, hey, man, if I win it, I'm going to probably have to be raging or steady. So, we'll see. Does one win um, invalidate... Oh my God! Hey, look at that! I I was just talking about how hopefully this game doesn't result in a retirement. We're looking at the MKL Gen Chat right now, and <laughs> should I retire? I think I'm getting done with this, <laughs> guys. Never make the MKL playoffs because if you lose, you will retire from the league, um, and that is probably not a good thing to retire from the league. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I should. 
because yeah, because you lost. I lost it. Hey, listen, man. When you put up three points in a playoff uh, game, I would probably want to quit too. Oh, that's great. Yikes, and especially that is, losing the way this guy did. Right Why the hell? I just want to know what this guy was thinking, not coming out and prevent, man. Like I like uh, that dude, was we I, were I, like, we were honestly, I, I it was unreal to give up that touchdown <laughs> at the half. When I when I came out and saw what he was in, I was like, wow. I you know I was considering kneeling it. I was like, okay, you know what? Just not going to turn the ball over. I'm going to go to uh just to half only down three zero. We're we're going to be fine. Like you know, I'm playing D'Angelo. This guy is you know we're not one of the brightest. You know, so let's see what he gives us. And he just gave you a free touchdown. That was freaking yes, stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, up until that point, I was a little bit uh, worried for you. But uh, after that, I figured you were going to take the... Yeah, I mean, that was that was really the nail in the coffin. The you, know, you, you knew it was over as soon as that happened. And, uh, you know, that, that's a, that was about all she wrote. So, um, but you know what? You played a great game, and we're really going to be looking forward to seeing you in the MKL Super Bowl, my friend. Who would yeah, you congratulations. rather play? Oh, that's man. a great question. Who would you rather play, man? I mean, listen, man. I'm not going to give anybody bulletin board material. We're just going to be ready for whoever we play, man. We're going to be watching the NFC Championship. <laughs> a lot of, we're going to be very intrigued watching it. You know, We're going to be very interested. I'm not going to give anybody bulletin board material, man. So you're saying you're scared. Yeah, I mean, right. I mean you, can, like. you can say, I mean, listen, listen. We're better. We're, we're, I'm PR trained over here, all right? I'm PR trained. I'm not. I'm not gonna fall for anything here. You know. I think both Steady and Rager are both excellent Madden players, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. one of us will be looking forward to, to getting our shot at you in the bowl. Thanks for coming out, brother. And mm-hmm. uh, we'll be. We'll see you guys soon, maybe for a another cast in this playoff game. You know, the other playoff game, the NFC Championship. Jesus Christ. My God.